we were approached by whistleblowers, and just as recently as last night, I spoke to a whistleblower who also spoke to Huffington Post, and there's a big problem right now. There's, uh, there's sabotage going on, and the FBI has been called in to investigate how safety equipment has been compromised. So here we have this sabotage in an environment where there's damaged, uh, defective reactors. They want to start up at 70% and see what happens. And we're going to all this effort. These guys are really qualified. I know they're putting a lot of effort to make sure that their theories are right, because we've seen, not in theory, but in reality, what can happen in Japan. And we're not willing to take that risk, no matter how careful they are with their predictions and their theoretical hypotheses. It's just not worth it when there's so much going on. Even the union leaders are saying they would not support a restart of Unit 2 because of the lack of uh, support from the workforce. 